What if I told you that just four weeks of implementing the right productivity and time management strategies could change your life forever because it changed mine and the lives of other people that embarked on this journey with me last year if you are ready to achieve in just four weeks what others could only dream of accomplishing in four months or even one year then watch this video till the end If you're just coming across my channel for the first time, hey there, my name is Benny and I'm a business coach. On this channel, I create business and productivity content to help you unlock financial freedom and manage your time. So lots of people complain, I don't have enough time, I have so many responsibilities, I have work, I have school, I have the business I'm trying to build, I have my family obligations, I have ministry, the things God has called me to do, my purpose here on this earth, and so on and so forth. And I know this because I've been in your shoes in 2023 i was juggling so much i had school i had family responsibilities i had work um and the business i was building i had ministry so it was just overwhelming and it just got to the point where i felt like okay something needs to change and so i decided to go on the journey to freeing up more time for myself and increasing my productivity and document that journey and basically at the time i was basically coaching people on productivity time management and so on and so forth so in essence i coached myself Myself. There were things I knew about productivity and time management that I started pulling up from within to just improve the quality of my life. And if you're watching this, you're probably in the same position that I was when I went on this journey. And at the time, it was more of like a 21 day challenge. Like I basically challenged myself to up level my productivity and my time management skills and improve the quality of my life. And I was only able to successfully do it for about 21 days. And guys, it was brutal because I was doing it alone you know i was in essence coaching myself so i didn't necessarily have like people doing it with me so it was a bit overwhelming and very difficult despite how brutal it was that feeling of being overwhelmed and feeling burnt out and having so much on my plate and not being able to do everything that i've set out to do all of that made going on this journey so much more worth it however after i went through that journey i realized that there were also other things i did not put into consideration like okay after you go through a certain period of time of implementing certain productivity and time management hacks that i will talk about in this video then what next and so i decided to more intentionally come up with a structure where whatever changes you make is sustainable long term and that was when i came up with the reset fast you're probably wondering why that name why the reset fast well of course reset means like to start over and when i was going on that journey that I ended up going on multiple times i needed like a reset i needed to feel like i'm starting over and you know there is just that breath of fresh air coming into my lungs then as for the fasting part of the equation it came because the method of the reset fast requires you to actually fast <laughs> <laughs> so I'm a Christian and I believe in the doctrine of fasting, but not in the way that you might think. So for example, I don't believe that food is the only thing that you can fast from. I believe that you should fast from anything that is a source of distraction to your purpose and your assignment here on earth. Because a lot of times when we say I'm overwhelmed, I'm stressed, I have so much to do and little time. The truth of the matter is that we actually have time. The problem is that we're allocating that little time we have to things that actually do not matter. And so when you get to the point where your deadline is closed and there are things to do you then get to the point where you're trying to squeeze so much into a small space of time and that is when you start feeling burnt out and overwhelmed but what if you tried a different strategy what if you were proactive about everything and you just went through a season of your life where you let go of some things for a short amount of time to be able to focus on the things that matter the most to you guys i promise you this works this changed my life i have so many videos where i've talked about this concept and the beautiful thing about going on a journey like this is you have so much more free time than you realize to do the things that matter most to you every single time that i've done this experiment or gone on this challenge or embarked on this journey i always ended up having so much more free time i ended the journey feeling more clear-headed and laser focused on the most important priorities that i had and on achieving the goals that mattered most to me in 2023 i went on the reset fast at least three different times 
and like i said every single time that i did it the quality of my life significantly and dramatically improved after a season of optimizing yourself to that extent you would be able to rest in the future because all the work that you would have postponed and procrastinated on you would have already done it during the reset fast so i'm going to walk you through how to go about the reset fast for yourself the first step when you're going on a reset fast or the first thing that you should do is to practice a little bit of identity shifting which is just reframing your mind and redefining the limits for yourself like what you really can or cannot do a lot of people tend to say i cannot do this i cannot do that and that in itself is a hindrance to your goals so that's the very first thing you need to do before even starting the reset fast or at least early on in the fast the first week of the reset fast is just for you to focus on removing distractions deleting apps that are your biggest distractors removing yourself from environments or from situations that take up a lot of your time or setting restrictions on things that you cannot necessarily remove yourself from or delete a good example of this is if that distraction in your life is anything related to social media or movies or series or whatever you might actually just be able to delete the app if it is something more physical like games ps4 ps5 and so on and so forth you can actually remove it from your house and maybe give it to a friend for a month and say okay keep it for me okay however there are instances where if for example your biggest distraction is social media and you work online like you actually need social media to work in that instance what you can then do is to set restrictions so what i mean by that is these are the times i'm authorized to use the app and i'm only allowed to use it and do this and after doing this i'm going to log out or i'm going to leave the app so those are examples of either deleting removing or restricting yourself from the distractions and this rule cuts across whatever distraction it may be sometimes the distraction might even be a person you just happen to be around setting people that hinder your productivity for that period in your life you can restrict the amount of time that you spend with those people and so that's basically what week one is all about eliminating distractions and setting restrictions on potential distractions let's go to week two of the reset fast what do you do in the second week when you get to the second week at this point you are adding productive things to your life you're starting to build up healthy routines you're stacking up good habits i'm talking gratitude journaling picking up a morning routine or night routines and so on and so forth and the reason this is important to do in the second week is because of the law of substitution when you take away something you have to add something to replace that thing because if you do not replace that empty space then you're going to find yourself falling back into old habits however if previously you spent like three or four hours scrolling through social media or or spending hours on netflix or gisting with your friends at this point because you've already placed restrictions on those bad habits now you can literally pick up habits like exercising or meditating or taking walks or whatever to replace all that time that you spent doing that and at this point what you would most likely discover is that because you're staying away from all those distractions and you've started building up good habits and productive habits there'll be some free time for you to actually get work done and start doing things that would help you hit your goals and you would be surprised how that time piles up that by the end of the four weeks you would have made significant progress in those goals by the time you get to the third week you're solidifying those routines and solidifying those good habits and at this point you'll find that it's not as difficult as it was in the beginning if anything usually when it gets to the third week people are already so productive hitting their goals getting work done starting things that they've been procrastinating on for so long and so on and so forth and then finally you get to week four and basically week four is about winding down at this point you're not trying to be overtly optimized or extremely productive you're actually like just ensuring that this new lifestyle is very much more sustainable for you in the long term after the fourth week you would find out that you have accomplished so much for everyone that goes on this reset fast there's usually a drastic difference in the quality of their lives and so the question is what next i also had this issue when i did it for the first time and to be honest with you there is no right or wrong answer i usually would encourage people to just continue like that until they fall off again 
again and then they take another reset fast because life is in seasons and so many things could come up at different points in your life so it's just about being sensitive to what your body and your mind needs and responding accordingly so like i said i've gone on this reset fast multiple times after seeing the benefits that i was enjoying from it and also helping people one-on-one -on -one to actually successfully go about the reset fast i decided to hold my very first reset fast group challenge in november of 2023 at that time i had capacity for only seven people <laughs> and for one month each of us fasted from something and started working on projects that we had been procrastinating on throughout the year we kept each other accountable and at the end of every week everyone that was participating in the challenge was mandated to send like their wins and the areas of their lives that they were still struggling with or finding challenging and these were some of the reviews that participants of the challenge wrote to a very large extent most of them had seen significant improvement in the quality of their lives they were very happy they went on the challenge and to be honest i was not surprised because that was what happened to me like the benefits of the challenge were so significant can't, that i had to let people in on my little secrets so the good news is that we're bringing the reset fast group challenge back if you're in that season of your life where you feel like you need a reset or you need to free up more time and optimize your productivity build good habits improve your relationship with god and break bad habits then you would greatly benefit from this challenge the registration link is going to be below and once you've registered you're going to be redirected to the group chat for the challenge i hope to see you there